Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Be Energized. Before we start today's video on Tesla Battery Day 2020, I want to say a big congratulations to Tesla and Elon Musk and the team. They just announced their first quarter profit earnings and they came out big time, regardless of everything that's going on in the world right now. Tesla announced that they actually made $5.99 billion this quarter, a profit over last year of just roughly over four and a half billion dollars. So that's great guys, keep up the hard work, definitely keep up the deliveries and it's exciting what you guys are doing, big congrats. So for those who do not know what Tesla Battery Day is or what Battery Day is, it's kind of a holiday for Tesla fans. Um, <laughs> uh, it comes when a time when Tesla actually announces new innovations when it comes to battery packs and powertrains and things of that nature. Uh, so most of the time uh, throughout the past, they've announced new things, new battery packs, efficiencies, and so forth. Uh, so 2020 is a big year, obviously with product launches like the Model 3 and Model Y, specifically more recently, and upcoming products like the Cybertruck and the Semi. Uh, we are expecting to hear some big news on more production, uh, efficiencies, and battery pack development. So uh, what Elon Musk has actually said, he quoted a few months ago, Yes, I think for Battery Day, we're going to do a comprehensive review of cell chemistry, module pack, architecture, and manufacturing plan that has a clear roadmap to a terawatt hour per year. That's huge. The time for this will probably is about six months, like maybe February or March next year, show and tell. Obviously, it is now the end of April and we have not heard anything uh, due to everything that's going on in the world. They've pushed Battery Day back. Um, I am hopeful that we will hear something in May, but I guess we'll wait to see what Elon has to announce. Maybe he'll announce it soon now that they had a quarter one uh, profit turn. So the biggest thing is, and it's kind of literal to what the day is, uh, battery day, is learning about battery technology and new things that Tesla is going to announce. Uh, so we're probably going to hear things about further driving, improved efficiency of battery packs, and higher energy density. Uh, obviously, that means that a vehicle will be able to drive further, it's going to be more efficient, and uh, the battery pack is going to have more of an energy density to it. Um, so I'm assuming that as the year goes on, Tesla and other battery manufacturers have constantly improved battery technology. So it's almost a given that we're probably going to hear about a new battery pack um, setup. So it's going to be exciting if that's the, the case with this. A big thing that we're probably going to also hear is about battery cost. And now obviously Tesla has just started production of the Model Y crossover and the infamous Cybertruck is also going to be going into production sometime soon. Not to mention all the semi-truck orders that they've had uh, pre-orders. Um, so it's obviously a given that Tesla is probably going to announce something regarding battery pricing. Uh, obviously, uh, electric vehicles, the main reason why they're a little bit more expensive than a typical gasoline powered vehicle is that the battery pack is the sole expense. And as time goes on and innovation increases, the battery pack cost obviously decreases. Uh, so uh, a lot of statistics say that around $100 per kilowatt hour is where you're going to find electric cars line up with gasoline power cars. And as battery technology and prices drop, obviously EVs are going to be more affordable. So uh, I think it's almost a given that we're going to be hearing some new information on how much the battery packs are going to cost. Uh, for future Tesla vehicles, as well as maybe some of the new ones that they can use these battery packs and hopefully bring down the price of these vehicles so more people can afford them. Uh, I definitely think that that would be huge news if Tesla announced something like that. I think one big announcement is if Tesla announced that they actually would start manufacturing their own battery packs without relying on vendors or third party contracts. Uh, I know that it's been said that Tesla has grown frustrated with some contracts and suppliers with their batteries, especially with turnaround times, which I definitely understand, you know, they want to get these vehicles out as quickly as possible so we can help accelerate the world towards, you know, cleaner transportation. Uh, so I would just be really, um, I'd be really happy to hear if Tesla just started developing things on their own uh, and uh, see where they take the different gigafactories around the world. Another thing that we might learn about is new Tesla energy products. Obviously, we know things about the solar roof, the power walls, and so forth. Uh, but e Elon has announced recently, especially, especially given recent circumstances, 
that there may be some new home products coming along the way, specifically an HVAC system. Uh, it'd be really interesting to see if they announce something like that on battery day, but that might be a separate event. Um, given the technology, I don't know how a battery pack would be incorporated with it. Um, maybe something with battery storage or electric storage. Um, so maybe something like that. But I definitely think that there's a possibility that we could hear something about the solar roof production, as well as maybe a new power wall. Uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. And now the biggest thing I know that a lot of people are waiting for is the Plaid powertrain. And what this is, is that it's Tesla's new performance powertrain that utilizes three motors. So it's like a tri-motor setup. Uh, they they have spotted the Model S testing at the Nuremberg Ring in Germany, uh, but there has literally there has really been no update on Plaid and the performance aspects of the new vehicles. So maybe with these new battery packs and the new technologies, they will announce something when it comes to thermal management control for future performance vehicles. I think it would be really cool if they did surprise people with a Plaid Model S or a Plaid Model X. Um, or even a Plaid Roadster, uh, just given that that's what uh, Tesla has announced that the Roadster will be able to do. Um, but it would be very interesting if they announced something like that on battery day. And now the final thing that I just do not know if Tesla will announce on battery day, because uh, I think that it actually deserves its own event, a uh, big product launch, is a refreshed or even totally redesigned Model S and Model X. Uh, the Model S and the Model X have not been redesigned for a few years, and given the more recent products like the 3 and the Y, the interior of the X and the S are starting to look a little outdated, even though they're not because that just all the software updates and stuff like that. Um, but I personally would hope that they would announce some refresh soon, uh, just to kind of give the S and the X a new life, especially now that we're in the 2020 era. Uh, you know, all these vehicles are starting to look very unique, and I think it'd be really cool if they did something with the S and the X, personally, because the S is one of my all-time favorite vehicles. So fingers crossed that we'd be surprised, but who knows? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate the support. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell to be alerted when I come out with new videos. I'm really excited to be talking about Tesla. And once again, Tesla, big congratulations on the first quarter of this year. Keep up the hard work and hopefully everything with the circumstances going on right now clear up. And um, I'm hoping whoever's watching this right now, you're being safe and you're taking care uh, because I know that that's the most important thing right now. But anyways, thank you guys for supporting Be Energized. If you haven't yet, make sure you make every single day electrifying. Take care, guys.